Hey guys, so today I'm talking about some of the more basic parts of the CSGO economy in-game. As I see like these mistakes happening a lot in matchmaking or even some pro matches. So today we're going to be looking at a little bit of three matches. So first I'm going to show you CLG versus G2 on Cash, LG versus Fnatic on Cobble, and TSM versus Dendi on Overpass. So I'm just going to show you guys like a small mistake that some of these teams make on the CSGO economy part. Alright, so the first thing we're going to be looking at is G2 versus CLG, and the score was 10-5, and it's the pistol round. Alright, so notice JDM and where he is, and how he has a kit. Even though this is a small mistake, it can be, like, really costly. Alright, so CLG, they end up winning this round with three members living, right? And JDM died with a kit on headshot, right? And notice how all three members of CLG don't pick up the free kit. And then next round, they go into the round, and they, no one buys a single kit, and they all buy, like, nades. Even, like, like, not even one person, like, mans up and just buys a kit. So the score at the half was 10-5. The most important round was probably winning the pistol. Uh, since if they don't win the pistol, you're probably not going to come back, because the score is going to be, like, 13-5 if you don't win the pistol. So even if they win the pistol here, you're going to run it up to 10-8. But instead, like, they play it really slow. No one picked up the kit. No one bought a kit. They even have to buy a kit. I think all they had to do was just pick up a kit. And they would have won. And they probably would have snowballed it to about 10-8. But instead, they lost this round, which snowballed into three rounds, making it 13-6 instead of 10-8, which is a massive difference. So instead of taking two free rounds with a kit, they just lost three rounds because of it. There's the kill with they don't it have a kill They've not got a kit. What? Oh. Oh no, so just oh. staying alive. They made themselves hard to find and that was all it took. So for this clip, I'm not even saying that they should have bought a kit, which they probably should have, but the thing is you should always pick up the free money on the floor after the round has ended. So if there's a kit that flashes, there's smokes, or there's even pistols, you should always pick those up. Because let's say there's a smoke, two flashes and a kit, right? That's what? That's four, two, two, and another four. You're pretty much saving $1,200, which is pretty much like almost the same as if you go on a hard like e economic reset. So you get $1,400, $1,200, you can pick up on the floor for free. Here, they could have picked up $400 for free of the kit. They could have like just picked up the kit, won the round, ran up to 10-8, and it might have been a close comeback. But instead, they just lost out because like 13-6 is like too hard to come back from. So the next example we're going to be looking at is LG vs. Fnatic. Now this one, it doesn't matter as much, but it's still something that you should always be doing. So the score for Luminosity for Fnatic is 1-1, uh, one, one, and you can see Luminosity's buy, right? It's P250, 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 and two SPs, right? So they pretty much right here, they know that if they lose this round, they're going on a double eco, right? Well, they're double ecoing right now, right? Okay, so they buy their light buy the first round. Alright, so for the second eco round, you can see that Luminosity now buys... 3 P250, 2 Deagles, a kit, and a nade. The thing is, is that you should always be buying your bigger buy on the first eco round. And this is just because of how the economy works in CSGO. So, I'm just making these numbers up, but you should, let's say you have 8% to win the first hard eco, and like a 15% chance to win the second eco with some firepower. With how the CSGO economy works, with like the money you get from winning, and like money resetting, you should always be buying the bigger buy on the first eco round. This is just a small thing that probably won't affect the game too much, but this is something that you should always be doing in like pretty much every single game. So the third economic situation I'm be showing guys is gonna be between TSM and Dendi on overpass. Now the score is four six, and look at the money here. TSM pretty much has no money, but you can also see like TSM is here is buying three head armors. On Kerrigan, Cajun B, and Device. Now, if you look at uh, Kerrigan and Cajun B, they both have like 150 or 100 bucks in the bank. That means they can easily, instead of buying head armor, they can buy a kit because you know you're going against all AKs, right? So, which is gonna one headshot you, anyways, right? So, the thing is, instead of buying kits, they all buy head armor, and let's see what happens. So, a little bit later into the round, it's, it's 4v2, and a bomb is planted. But TSM has no kit because they decided to buy three head armor instead of buying any kits against all AKs. So you pretty much are forced to fight them here. And sticking at the fuse is really hard because it's 10 seconds, giving him enough time to spray you down. 
So pretty much if TSM had hit there, they might have won that round. And it'd be, instead of it being 4-8, it probably would have been 5-6, which is a much better scoreline. Alright, so the scoreline for TSM against Dendi now is 4-9. And Kerrigan and Cajun B both buy head armor instead of buying like Kevlar and just the kit. So pretty much when you don't buy a kit in a full gun round, you're pretty much forcing yourself to kill them super fast or make sure they don't get the bomb plant down. Because on super, especially on overpass, like if you don't have a kit, it's, it's really hard to retake a site. So Device ends up going for the 1v2. But I'm pretty sure he didn't even have enough time in the end. If someone had a kit, he might have not as much pressure. And he probably could have stuck the fuse because he had a smoke. Or like kill the last guy without like as much pressure. And won the round. Bomb but gets caught with a snipe out. 12 HP remain for device. He goes for the desperate spray. But Dumas comes around the corner. And then did he win yet another round. So the score is now 4-10. It's the last round of the half. Your economy is pretty bad. So here, instead of buying two head armors on Cajun B and Device, I would rather buy like a smoke on Cajun B and maybe a kit on Device. Just because of how hard it is to retake a site without a kit or a smoke. So, and also because it's the last round, you're going to be knowing that the other teams would be all in AKs, Tech 9s, and Ops. Especially if they won like the last 6 or 7 rounds. So me personally, I just like to like not buy head armor as much and just buy kits or nades instead on the CT side.